Welcome everybody to another edition of Historical Geocaching on the Road with Geocacher Tian Photobug from Chattanooga, Tennessee, currently visiting Greenfield Village, an awesome outdoor history museum in Dearborn, Michigan. Right now we are in the Porches and Parlors district of Greenfield Village, an assemblage of really cool homes of famous Americans, and um, now we're going to head into the Daggett Farmhouse, um, run by, I guess, not so well-known American, but um, Samuel Daggett. This home was built in 1754 in Andover, Connecticut. Let's see what awesome American history we can learn this time. Hello. How are you doing today? Very good, very good. How are you? Oh, just lovely. Oh, Welcome lovely. into the Daggett home. You actually just stepped back to 1760. The house was originally located in Andover, Connecticut, okay. and was moved here to the village in 1970. Okay. It took two years to put back together. Actually, wow. if you look at the staircase here at the fireplace, you're going to uh -huh. see some letters and numbers uh -huh. on the stones, and that's how they put it back together like a puzzle. Wow. So you wow. just step back into um, the Great Hall. The Great Hall is basically your three season room, okay. which basically means that it was used three seasons out of the okay. year. Primarily not in the winter, as it would have been harder to keep the room warm sure. at this point in time. Versus the kitchen, which does have a significantly lower ceiling, so okay. you are going to notice it was easier in the winter to sure. keep it warmer. Sure. So the family actually would have, if need be, slept in there. Okay. Right now, we're actually in the process, if you'd like to look, of cooking our dinner meal for today. Okay. Dinner actually does take place at the same time as lunch today. Okay. However, um, the main purpose was is to only have to cook one meal during the day. Sure. Essentially. So anything left over for dinner would be eaten later in the day for mm -hmm. supper. Nice. So needless to say, we really hope that you like what you have yeah. for dinner. Mm -hmm. Today we have a lot of pots on our fire today because we're actually going to be doing quite a bit of pickling. So we have our pickling mixture, which we're actually going to add to green beans, and we're also going to be doing a brandy peach. Okay. Which basically is we're going to parboil the peaches, we're going to put a simple syrup on them, and then we're going to essentially put them in a brandy. Okay. So that'll be really good. For dinner today, we actually have a um, bean dish. We have baked, essentially baked beans. Mm -hmm. We have a turnip soup as well as a, um, like a meal of root vegetables, which is basically carrots, rutabaga, parsnips, a little bit of onion and garlic. And later what we're going to do is once it's done being boiled, we're actually going to put it with a dressing, which basically means cover it in butter. Okay. Essentially. Hello. Hi. So feel free to look around okay. the house. Definitely check out the kitchen. When you do go in the kitchen, mind your head, it's a okay. little bit lower in there. But you're going to see a lot of things that are drying here. Primarily because A, we're getting ready of all the fresh things coming out of our garden. We're getting things dry and ready to preserve for the season. As well as we're having a lot of flowers that are drying because come October, we're actually going to be doing a dye demonstration for all the wool we've been processing okay. throughout the year. Neat. Thank you very much. You're welcome very much. was a lot of fun learning about the Daggett Farmhouse. Just awesome history back there. And just right next to the Daggett Farmhouse, check this out, it's the Ferris Windmill. It's supposed to be the, believed to be the oldest windmill in the United States. It was named after the Ferris family, and it was built in the mid 1600s in Cape Cod, Massachusetts. It was used to grind like um, corn and other products that farmers would grow. Really cool to be here. There's the home of the windmill. And here we come to the Plimpton family home. If I remember correctly, I believe this is one of the oldest buildings, if not the oldest building here in Greenfield Village. The um, brick 
over the fireplace dates to 1640, and um, it was the Plinton family had it was lived in New England, and this one room dwelling was home to many generations of the Plimpton family. Thomas Plimpton Sr. came from England as early as 1639. He and his wife Abigail lived in Sudbury with their seven children. After their original home burned to the ground, later generations of the family built the house you see here and lived there until 1834. It was built in the 17, early 1700s in Sudbury, Massachusetts. This is really cool. Let's go take a tour inside. I think this about wraps up my um, latest vi video here at Greenfield Village of the Daggett Farmhouse, the Ferris Windmill, and the Plimpton Family Home. Hello. Hello. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. A special thank you to those of you who have, uh, maybe this is the first video of mine that you have watched. Thank you so much for that. Please be sure to hit the subscribe buttons because I post weekly videos of me visiting historical locations just like Greenfield Village. I wouldn't want you to miss any of those. So thank you to all of you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please be sure to check out my other videos at youtube.com slash tnphotobug. And until next time, this is Geocaster TN Photobug signing out. I'm indeed having a blast with the past. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button so that each and every week you'd... Uh,